Religion can't improve you, but it don't change you. The world don't need more religion, the world needs more salvation. The problem is not our education system. The problem is not our penal system. The problem is not broken homes. The problem is not teenage pregnancy. The problem is not opioid use going up. The problem is not crack cocaine. The problem is not, my God, juvenile delinquency. All those are symptoms. The problem is sin, and the only thing that deals with sin is salvation. My God, amen. Those that have religion will find themselves with stuff still getting in that shouldn't be in there. That's why the apostle said, hold on, when he was talking about his experience in religion, he said, for that which I would not, I know it shouldn't be in there, it's here. Stuff that I know shouldn't be in my life, it's here. It's here. Oh, wretched man. Religion failed him. Failed him. Man, I know I shouldn't be going over a house. But why do I find myself still doing that? I know I shouldn't be smoking this dope no more. I know I shouldn't be lusting after women no more. I call myself saved. I know I shouldn't be cussing people out no more. Religion, religion is don't have the power to keep out the stuff. We went down to a certain building, big, big steeple downtown. We walked in, we were sitting there. Gentleman came up, had a collar on, this, that, and the other sat there. We, he introduced himself, we introduced ourselves, and he told us a little bit about himself. We told us a little bit about ourselves. I was with a brother by the name of Brother Pitts. We were sitting here. And then eventually it came to the point because uh, it was a bunch of people in line to, he was gonna go into this little booth and there was a bunch of people in line to go in there to talk to him. He would be on one side, they would go on the other side, they couldn't see each other. And they would say things that they did and he would say, you know, what he needed to say to them, so on and so forth. So before he went and did that, I was just, just kind of naive to the whole thing, hadn't been saved long. I would just spend an afternoon with Brother Pitts, doing what Brother Pitts do. So then I, um, uh, I, I, I happened to ask the gentleman, I said, man, wow, you look, got the collar, look. I said, so tell me, when did you get saved? He said, I'm not. I said, excuse me? He said, no, I'm not, I'm not saved yet. It's not a, not yet. I'm not. I said, all these people are in line to talk to you. And you not say what they're seeking to get, you don't got. So here, the apostle said, salvation is the work of God. You can't, so what did you give uh, uh, $200? That's not salvation. Well, I fed the poor, that ain't salvation. Amen, not the work of man, that's the work of God. Come on and read, let's see what that work produces. Read, Philippians 2, 13. For it is God which worketh in you. Thank God, there he is. It is God that worketh. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, look at these dots that's connected. Oh, it, it, he said in Acts 28, 28, salvation is the work of God. It is what, Brother Frank? For it is God, it is God which worketh in you. It is God. See, salvation is not, I got to hold myself. I can't do wrong. Oh, I joined church and the church that I joined said that you don't do this or you go to church on this day or you don't involve. So I, 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 no, 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 no. It's the work of God and it's God that worketh in you. What, Brother Frank? Both to will. Both to will. And to do. And to do. Of his good pleasure. My, my, my. See, salvation is what God instituted that you may live a life in obedience and connection with God. That can only happen, amen, through salvation. He could beat you into it, but it wouldn't be right because your heart wouldn't want to serve him. So he said, I got to bring salvation and it will work in you. The will. Salvation just don't deal with the outside. It gets found in the soul of man. It gets on the inside of you. It's the work of God. It's a miracle. It gets down in a person. It gets down in your heart. It gets in your soul. And it begins to work with your will. It changes your mind. It changes your heart. It changes your desires. It changes who you are. It changes you on the inside. It works in your will. My God. It's powerful. Nothing, nothing on earth can change a person's will. Nothing on earth can change a person's heart. Only salvation.
is powerful. You don't have to hold yourself after you get this. Oh, I can't do this. I, can't. I don't want to do that. I'm a changed man. Yes, sir. Come on, Brother Frank. For it is God which worketh in you. For it is God that worketh. You at the altar of prayer. You meeting the conditions. Godly sorrow broken. Faith in Jesus. Oh, you letting God know I'm sorry, God. Lord, I'll live for you for the rest of my life. Lord. So see, that's why folk can't get this joint in church. Because the, the work ain't even been done. There's a spiritual surgery that got to take place. It ain't about joining some man. It's about surrendering to God. Amen. And now when you surrender to him, he's able to do his work. Yes, oh, my. Thank you. Oh, you at the altar. Oh, hey, uh, angels. Hold on. Uh, 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 saints. Of, hold on. I got to go. I got to go to work. They, they call me. Uh, they call. It's a sir. Peter, go do it. No, Peter can't go do this work. Uh, Abraham, go do it. Abraham can't do this work. Oh, God. And when you go to an altar of prayer, God takes a moment, stops what he's doing, comes down, begin to do spiritual surgery on you, my God. Opens up your heart, my God, to give you a heart transplant. Oh, begin to work with your desires, your will, put new valves in, new pipes in. My God, brand new this and brand new that. Take out this that. Take out that, my God. Take out this, my God. Move this out the way. Move that. Give me this. Give me that. Let me put this in. Let me put that in. It is God. Amen. See, salvation brings with it. That's the that's the religion don't bring with it power. See, salvation brings the change and the power. It produces in you the will, the desire, and the ability to perform what you now want to do. Amen. Amen. I got it. You want to please God. You want to do right. You want to uh, uh, live right. And then it don't just stop you there with just a desire to do it, but not the ability to perform. So therefore, he said, I'm going to change you on the inside, give you the desire to do right and want to live right and want to, my God, resist the devil. And then I'm going to give you the power, the ability, the authority, the anointing, the grace to do. That's why the Bible said as many as received him, to them gave he power. See, religion don't bring a power. There's a power that salvation brings. It's an authority. It's a power. That's why we don't have to have doctrine to make excuses for the saint's life that can't live up to the salvation message. See, then you got to create a false doctrine that says you got to repent every night or you're up under grace. You can't do that. Why? Why? Because what you're offering is not Bible salvation, so they're not fundamentally changed and they don't got the power to live out what the Bible said they should live so therefore you leave them arrest but salvation changes their desire and gives them the power to perform Amen. what God has for them to do that's why the Bible said unto him that's able to keep you we not kept by our own power this is all the work of salvation violence shall no more be heard in thy land uh huh. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. Uh huh. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation. Thou shalt call thy walls what? Salvation. Okay, now you gotta go with me. And you gotta understand the times that they were in. The cities were fortified by walls. They put them up on a hill so they can see the enemy. Then they put a wall around. Now the wall. <sighs> was not for decoration. It was not because they wanted to show their pomp or circumstance and how much money they had and this, that, and the other. But the wall served a purpose. And when he was processing, he's sitting there, and the prophet is sitting there saying, that, okay, Holy Ghost, what do you want me to style salvation? How do you want me to style? He looked around and said, okay, it's a, the wall. The wall is salvation. And tight. The wall kept the things out that shouldn't get in. And it kept the things in that shouldn't get out. Salvation, my Lord, it gives you an experience to keep stuff out that shouldn't be in your life. My God. The devil will try to penetrate your life 
The devil will try to tempt you with this, get you involved in that. My God, to destroy your life. The Bible said, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. He's trying to bring all this stuff in to destroy your life. But thank God, salvation will keep out, my God, the things that want to destroy your life. It'll give you a wall, a defense, my God. When the devil comes in, my God, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a stand. Get back, devil. When this temptation comes, the Bible will give you, the Word of God will give you the power. Amen. The Holy Ghost will give you the power to tell the devil, no, I'm not doing that. Salvation keeps you. It keeps the stuff out that shouldn't be in, my God. Read, Brother Frank. Search me, O oh God. Search me, O oh God. Not Brother Lee. Not the Church of God. Search me, O oh God. And know my heart. And know my heart. Try oh, me. My heart. I want my heart to be right. Is there anybody here that wants a touch in their heart? Read, Brother. Try me. Try me, Lord. And know my thoughts. Try my experience. Test it. Come on and read. And see, and see if there be any wicked way in me. If there's anything in me that's beneath, Lord, I'm humbling myself. God sent you here today yes. in mercy to grant you something. But you got to be willing to say, Lord, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Search me. Sometimes we can start out in salvation, but because we didn't keep up that experience, we drift into religion. Now we go into a form. We go through a form, but something, there's a fire that's just not there. There's an authority that's not there. Something's missing. Something's missing. We need that fire relit one more time in this generation that we can bring the revival to the world. The Bible said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Is there any that need any help this morning? Religion versus salvation.